All right, how's it going? So I've just got back from Kuala Lumpur on a visa visa run. So I've just got back to Thailand a couple of days ago, which is why I've been away for a little while. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the key differences between Bangkok and Kuala Lumpur. And these will be from a tourist perspective, uh, because I've only been to Kuala Lumpur as a tourist. I can't speak for an expat's perspective. But on a tourist perspective, that's what the, this video is about. So some basic information about both cities. Geographic information, Bangkok, mostly flat, it's in a river delta, not as much hills, and it's quite prone to flooding during the rainy season. Um, Kuala Lumpur tends to be a bit more hilly, a bit further inland, uh, less prone to flooding, but it's also rained more there. Uh, both cities have got tropical climates, uh, hot for the majority of the year. Uh, Kuala Lumpur has a lot more rain for the rest of the year on pretty much all year round because it's more equatorial Bangkok seems to have more significant seasonal differences it has a big long dry season with low humidity as well as the the, the hotter and rainier season as well uh, personally for me I prefer the weather of Bangkok because it is more has more variation it seems a bit less humid a bit sunnier uh, less rain although when the rain does come in Bangkok it really really does come um, demographics uh, uh, Thailand is 90% Buddhist 5% uh, Islamic and the other 5% are other religions including Hindu, Christian etc etc Malaysia more diverse in terms of religion 60% Islamic 20% Buddhist and the other 20% are other religions Malaysia is a lot more multicultural than Bangkok while Bangkok seems specifically more touristy. There's more Westerners I saw in Bangkok, including more expats, backpackers, travelers, tourists. I, I noticed a lot more Western people in Bangkok than I did see in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, people in Kuala Lumpur seem to be a bit more educated, more worldly minded. They, sp they speak better English and have more knowledge of global affairs, politics, what's going on in the world. Whereas Bangkok people are a bit more simple, but they seem a lot more friendlier, uh, more approachable, more helpful. And Bangkok feels a bit safer to me personally. I, f I felt more safe than I did in Kuala Lumpur. But both cities do feel very safe, so let me clarify that. Kuala Lumpur has a much better infrastructure, uh, specifically with healthcare, with education, with public transport, road maintenance etc but Bangkok did have a better metro train for me I found that Bangkok's SkyTrain and BTS system seems a lot significantly better than the one in Kuala Lumpur easier to navigate friendlier uh, staff uh, just easy to get around in Bangkok whereas Kuala Lumpur uh, tends to have a little bit more difficulties using the metro system while I was there Bangkok also has some very good hospitals as well for healthcare in case you ever do get sick while you're there. Uh, both cities are very good for shopping, but Bangkok is quite a bit cheaper, uh, especially at the markets if you want to buy fake products. Uh, Bangkok is dirt cheap, like really cheap. Uh, Kuala Lumpur can also be quite cheap depending on what you're after, but it seems to have more Western products. So if you're after Western products, they seem to be a bit more readily available in, in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, food wise personally for me I prefer the food in Kuala Lumpur just because it's I don't like Thai food however Bangkok also has some very very good food areas uh, KL has a lot of Indian food a lot of Islamic food Chinese it has all pretty much all different types of Asian food that you could possibly want um, Bangkok also has a lot of good food areas both cities have got good choice of western food so if you're not too into the lo the local cuisine you're gonna find western food in both cities but it is a bit more expensive well, it's a lot more expensive than local food but Kuala Lumpur it seems a bit more expensive but there's more choice while Bangkok also has a lot of choice in terms of everything so pretty much swings and roundabouts but for me personally I prefer the food in Kuala Lumpur just because I'm, I'm not into Thai food but for other people uh, it's up to you to decide. Both cities have got big markets, including night markets where you can buy clothes, food, 
stuff on the street, lots of hawker stands, souvenirs and stuff like that. They all, both so both cities have big shopping malls, huge shopping malls, bigger than I've ever seen in any other place before. So if you're into shopping, both cities are overall great, great for shopping. Uh, backpackers. Uh, Bangkok seems to have more backpackers, especially in the areas of Khao San Road. And there seems to be a lot to do for backpackers. Kuala Lumpur didn't seem quite as backpackery. I mean, there was backpackers there, but not as much as I, I've seen in Bangkok. Bangkok is like a real backpacker haven for those traveling across Thailand, Indochina, that whole region. Um, nightlife partying. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. I'm sorry, but Bangkok trumps Kuala Lumpur's nightlife and partying simply because of Kuala Lumpur is an Islamic country. It has uh, more stricter laws on alcohol sales and stuff like that. And just in terms of nightlife, Bangkok is a whole lot better. Uh, you can find all different types of nightlife venues from high society clubs to cheap bars to go-go bars to anything anything that you want you're, you're gonna find in Bangkok there's loads to do at night time Kuala Lumpur didn't have nearly as much to do on a night time uh, what, what I saw um, so partying is a lot better in in Bangkok as well as in Thailand generally they it seems more fun the people there seem more fun and the culture seems more fun than it did in Kuala Lumpur uh, dating uh, I can only speak on a male's perspective, so for women, I'm sorry, but I can't really help you on men, but for guys or girls who are into girls, um, dating seems easier in Bangkok. Um, the girls in Bangkok seem nicer, seem more approachable, seem friendlier, they seem more interested in Westerners than the ones in Kuala Lumpur. As well as the fact that Kuala Lumpur has an Islamic culture, which is more kind of a difference to deal with for a Westerner. It's another hurdle. However, the ones in Kuala Lumpur, people there do speak a lot better English than they do in Bangkok. So language barrier is not an issue there. And also, people in Kuala Lumpur seem a lot more worldly minded. They have, they have more of a clue what's going on. But generally, for me, for me, what I've seen is Bangkok is a lot better... For dating, at least on a single man's perspective. Um, travel opportunities. Both countries have got a lot of travel opportunities to be found. Malaysia has places like the Cameron Highlands, it has Borneo, it has real untouched jungle areas where you can go see orangutans and wild animals. Places that have not been touched by tourists at all. They've got their tribes over in Borneo in the Sarawak, Sarawak Sabah region of the country. So there's a lot of real wilderness out in Malaysia, especially on Borneo. Um, whereas Thailand also has uh, jungle areas. It's got Khao Yai, it's got Khao Sok, it's got uh, the north, northern regions of the country. It has hill tribes up in Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai area. So there's plenty of that up there. In terms of beaches and islands, personally for me, I find that while Malaysia does have Langkawi, Penang, places like that, Thailand wins hands down on beaches and islands. The, it has some of the most beautiful beaches and islands I've ever seen in my life before. Places like Koh Samui, Pang Na, James Bond Island, Koh Tao, uh, Koh Lipe, Koh Chang, Koh Samet, Koh Kut. Uh, there's all sorts of really awesome beach places in Thailand that I find that are not matched in Malaysia. Especially because the weather seems significantly better in Thailand as well. That you can tend to enjoy the beach a bit more when you're there. <clears throat> uh, locally, Malaysia is closer to Singapore, Indonesia and Australia. If you're interested in going to those regions or if you're coming from those regions of the world, Malaysia is a gateway to that area. Whilst Thailand is closer to China, Indochina and other areas of Asia. Um, so, Thailand overall seems more developed, more Asian, more exotic, more traditional, sorry, lesser developed, more traditional than it is in Malaysia. Thailand seems to be more of an exotic experience, seems to be more of a culture shock. Um, yeah, more of an experience for the traveler, more of an adventure type thing if that's what you're looking for. Thailand's certainly more of a partier's place, it's certainly more 
fun orientated so if you're into partying having fun backpacking then thailand is probably more more for you if you're after the whole traveler's experience malaysia is more multicultural it's more developed and more westernized but thailand is certainly a lot more fun so both countries are very very different to each other whichever one that you prefer really depends on yourself so i can't say which one's better or worse i can just say which one the basic information about each place so um any more information you might have to share uh, any more tips and pointers um, any questions about bangkok or kuala lumpur uh, feel free to ask uh, give me a comment on my video or hit me up on my email which is jm.daves underscore 89 at hotmail.co.uk so um, hit me up if you've got any more questions anything you want to know and I'll hit you up speak to you very soon All right, cheers